In your health news tonight, the time at the beach may be winding down, sadly, but protecting your skin should still be a priority. And for people already fighting melanoma, the immune system might be able to help. Yale researchers are taking part in a clinical trial that led to the FDA approval of a promising treatment now for late stage skin cancer. This is medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa with more on what you need to know. This sounds so promising, Jocelyn. Well, the, the uh, actual clinical trial is over, but cancer research is moving more and more into what's called immuno-oncology, basically working with our body's immune system to destroy cancer cells, benefiting patients like Mary Mannion. Mary Mannion's skin cancer was first detected on her leg. I think it's right here. A faint scar lingers. I had a a mole that changed shape, size, color. Stage four so melanoma. Surgeons removed it and Mary underwent targeted therapy. 11 years later, the cancer came back. The melanoma had metastasized here. Most melanoma start on the skin. The problem is, is that those cells can travel through the bloodstream to other parts of the body. Dr. Mario Sonal at Smilo Cancer Hospital at Yale New Haven is Mary's doctor. Melanoma cells that have traveled from the primary site through the bloodstream to other organs, that's what's called metastatic melanoma. Mary's cancer had spread to her liver, lung, and soft tissue. A large liver lesion here. This is another one here, this is another one here. This Fortunately for the high school history teacher. I got the last seat in that clinical trial. At the time, Dr. Zanal was researching the benefit of combining two drugs on patients with late stage skin cancer. The focus was unlocking the tight grip of the tumor so the body's immune system could fight back. And what these antibodies do is they block that off switch so that the lymphocytes can stay on and can kill the tumor. A CAT scan in July. The liver now looks almost completely normal. Revealed nothing worrisome. We'll have to come back at five years and at six years and at seven years to really say for sure that she won't have any recurrence. But there's a very good chance she won't recur. While Dr. Zanal cautions not every patient will respond like Mary, the results, he says, are breakthrough. If we look at a long-term survival curve, we believe that the survival at five years will be somewhere between 40 to 50 percent. Remember that in the old days, that used to be five to 10 percent. I plan to be around for many, many more years. Dr. Zanal tells me the next step for researchers is to focus on trying to understand why some patients, like Mary, respond to therapies targeting their immune system and others do not.